everybody and how are you? Uh, I hope you're all right and you've had a good evening yesterday. Uh, my name's Iris Smith and I'm the owner of a small business called The Flower Patch. As you can see, I'm a bit dirty. I have been working this morning. Um, it's now two o'clock in the afternoon, so I am late today. And uh, But I've sorted everything and I've finished what I've got to finish. And now I'm back doing a video. So, um, I'll just give you an update on the company with the uh, ribbon. I've still not heard anything. I've rang again this morning and left a message stating that I'd like a full refund. And I've gone elsewhere and ordered some ribbon from another company. So, today we're going to do another bunny rabbit. But this one, I can't wait any longer. I'm going to do it on a swag instead of a wreath and I've done the bow and I've attached the bunny rabbit already to the swag um, because I'm running late I thought I'd get things done like that so are you ready guys? <laughs> Honestly I've got a feeling it's going to be one of those giggly days again <laughs> Look at this Doesn't he look wonderful? Oh my goodness, and his big floppy ears, and oh, it is so soft, really, really soft. <laughs> and his sticky out legs, and his body with his black little tail. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't help myself. <laughs> I've been looking at him before I started, and I've been giggling away. So majority of my laughter has gone. <laughs> I've just seen a thread. So let me just snip that off. We don't want him looking like he's, he's falling apart. But <laughs> just, it's always the legs, isn't it? It's always the legs where I get, whether either inwards, outwards, <laughs> floppy, who knows? I just get it all. But isn't he Cute. I've got a pink one as well but I thought I want to use the black one because all I'm going to do is majority of my flowers today is just yellow so and obviously the greenery so there's the odd bit of orange as well um, but with the bow I've done them at five inches I was going to do them at six but because I wanted to place it at the bottom I didn't want it too big so I've got uh, what they call a film strip uh, ribbon um, it's silk but it is wired and it's orange on one side and yellow on the other and I love that I've got it in a bit pale blue as well with brown on the opposite side I love it I've got the gingham style at the back to match his little tootsies and his ears <laughs> um, and I thought well, we need a bit of green let's get a bit of lime because some of my foliage has got lime so let's get that in. Now I've got this very thin, like organza ribbon, but it's got a print of, I don't know if you can see, of little uh, flowers on daisies or blossoms. I'm not sure what they are, but I thought I'd just incorporate that in it as well. And then I've, <clears throat> excuse me, and then I've got some stripy one with the brown, yellow and lime and white on it also. Uh, so I thought I'd just do all those and just get those all prepared <laughs> and <laughs> sit it on, <laughs> sit it on the swag. <laughs> so let's get, let me put him out of the way. Uh, <laughs> so let's just go, <laughs> go through what we've got. Right. <clears throat> Um, I've got the ficus, but I've got the one, what I say looks like cat's eyes, but somebody said to me, it looks, it, uh, to those, it looks like eyebrows. Um, I don't know, maybe, but um, I've got so, uh, some of those, I've cut some down, I've tried to prepare today, guys, tried to, but then I kept looking at the clock thinking, oh, it's time's ticking, so I really need to crack on. So, <clears throat> excuse me, and my voice is going. 
Oh, and I've got a choir tonight. <laughs> so I left one long stem in case I need a long one, but on the others, uh, I've got a, I took about three out stems, others, and snipped them right down. So I've done that. Um, I've snipped some of my uh, ruscus uh, as well from the main stem and cut some into tiny pieces for filler and some slightly longer. Again, I've prepared that as well. The video may be slightly a bit further back, guys, because I, I needed to get the whole swag in as much as I could. So sorry about that. Um, so I've prepared that as well. I've prepared some of, I've left some long stems and then I've prepared some shorter ones and cut some down and placed some on single picks as well, just to prepare myself for that also. I've got out my conifer. I don't know whether I want to use all of this greenery, but I've just got it out, you know, again for backup. And I've been chopping away at my, uh, one of my favourites, the uh, Silver Dollar Eucalyptus, which I adore. Uh, so I've chopped away to a, couple, a few stems to get that into little bits as well. So that's all the greenery. Right, I have got my carrots again. This time, because we've got orange on the ribbon, I've got a feeling I'm going to place some of these in what I was going to put in the other day but didn't so I've got some of those out now I've got three carrots green because we've got a green ribbon yeah a pale lemon and a, and a yellow so I've got three I don't know how many I'm going to place in either or I may not place any who knows um, so now I've also got I haven't I've, I've well I say I haven't I oh I've got a pussy willow in here that shouldn't be in there. Um, I have prepared some, but not not prepared all because I don't know how many of the the uh, ladies' apple that I want to use, and they're my wispy bits with yellow and orange in them, and also their own foliage, which is wispy also. Now these are these are my oddments, some of the wild daisies. So I did get these out just to add a little bit of white. Um, I have in my bucket here got my white calla lily and also my yellow calla lily because I'm not sure. Again, I like to say, you know, white tends to uplift it. I may put the white in because the bunny rabbit's white. Uh, <clears throat> and then I've got some of these are oddments and some of these are full bunches of some mini, um, some flowers, the odd one that's bigger, and some are slightly bigger than the mini ones, but not much. Uh, but I thought I could, or maybe place those in as well. And I also got out, now these are a bright, a, a really nice yellow. Some hydrangea, oh, I've just pulled that off. I'm not sure whether I'd like to uh, add these in, but I've just spotted them. And I thought I may place, you know, the old what one at the top or something like that. I may not even add them in. Um, and finally, I've got my yellow daffodils as well. Uh, I just got the fresh bunch out because I've used the others, so I grabbed another bunch. I've not prepared those because I don't know how long or short I'd like those to be. So majority of this is yellow. Um, I did the blue one yesterday. Um, where is it? I did the colourful one with all the different colours. So today I'm just going to do the yellow. You'll probably notice that some of the stuff has gone away from me. That was sold yesterday so they're all wrapped up. And they're waiting to go so oh busy busy <laughs> and my probably lukewarm cup of coffee yeah hurry up that cup warmer how many more days 13 more days 
Right, so let's get our squad. I'm going to move my stool. Oh. So let's start with our ficus. I'm sorry about the video yesterday, how long it took. When I was watching it, oh my goodness, I even sat there and thinking, oh, this is just going on for ages. Uh, I need to stop making them so long. That is a bit too long, nearly three hours. Oh, goodness me. So, in that respect, I wasn't happy with myself because it was too long. Uh, so I apologize if you got bored. <laughs> I was even getting bored. So, I've got something on there. The way I've uh, attached the uh, ears, oh, I've got a wire attached to the spruce. Uh, is I put an all again in the back of the ear and placed a pick inside, but then I glued just a little bit of the spruce onto the back of the ear. I kept one ear bent so, you know, it looks a bit more uh, original. And then the legs, they had string on them. I pulled the string and attached them around some of the spruce here. And if I just unravel that, and then I also attached a bit of string while it was on it as well around the back also to make him stick his body out so and I've just grabbed two pieces of spruce to attach around the bot uh, the uh, easel hi hubby uh, to uh, stop it from moving uh, so it stays in one place <laughs> I hope it's just bought me another drink. I tell you, it's like a restaurant in here. So that's gone cold. Now I've got a hot one. Oh, isn't this divine? And I've got my bickies here. Dark chocolate digestives. I've been munching on those as well while I've been working. The cat's in the house. He probably won't be now my husband's home. He'll probably let him out <clears throat> and he'll want to come in here. So, let's get cracking. So, I'm going to place some of the ficus at the top. And I'm attaching this to the spine, the ficus on that piece. And then some of it I attach to the actual spruce as well. So we're going to go in on that side. Again, I'm doing that as I say if you want to think of it as a human body, uh, the neck, shoulders. That may be a slightly easier for you to understand. Again, I've had when I've done my university uh, course and that, where they were saying a lot of, like I say, they spoke. They spoke like they were. It was a scientific language. So, one of the tutors told me to think of it as a human body, which was a good idea because it did work. And then we're bringing it down to a point. That's the waistline at the bottom. You see there is gaps there but they're going to be filled and 
now I'm going with this piece as soon as we get near to the waistline and we're going in at the bottom I go in well uh, I insert it upwards at a diagonal you know and head this the stem towards the center I think I uh, cut enough guys this may want to be cut a bit more we'll see place this small piece at the bottom just lift up my belt I don't need that now that was good that was good calculation right <clears throat> I want the eucalyptus because that's also quite full again I've been chopping away trying to prepare I think that's um, you know why my videos seem to take so long like yesterday because I was chopping all those little pieces of blossom up and it just took forever it's a bit too long Get that one in there. I put some on a single stem as well while I was doing it. I thought so I got the option of <clears throat> excuse me of having it having different uh, pieces instead of just the one gosh I can never do it that side the one style you know this length I think I need to put another one there You know what I've got and what I haven't. I think I need a taller one at the back there. Got to do around the shoulders as well, as I say. Just see. I don't know, that may be a bit too much. Let me just take that one out, guys. I'm going to put, I think, a single one up there. Yeah. that piece that I've just took off.
Oh, I wish I'd never. How many did that have on? Two. Oh, Let me try and use these single pieces that I've put on small picks. Again, we're coming down to the waist, the waistline. As I say, the neck, shoulders, the rib cage, and then the waistline. If you think of it like that, then it may be easier for yourselves. Get these bushier ones out of the way. It may be easier for you then to place your foliage. My gosh, I didn't realise how many bushy ones I did. Game behind the bow there. I will fluff the bow up. It's, it's just that I, when I'm working around that area, guys, as you know, it yourselves they do flatten, and you and you're constantly, you know, making them. Uh, flipping them up, so but I will fluff it up, especially near the end. Right, so that is your eucalyptus placed in. So we'll place all these together. 
So at this moment, I don't, if I need any filler, I've got small, smaller pieces that I can use as filler. So I will grab them. I'll just place those in there. Right, so let's get our firm. I've put a few on single picks. Oh, I've just pulled that one off. Where did I get that from? Well, that one hasn't even got a pick in it. So let me just pull it out. Oh no, it's a broken one. Oh, I can't use that then. That's a dark one, so that's, I don't know why that one's there. So let's place a new pick in it. So, they're the ones on single. Those ones down really short for the bottom, and these are the longer ones. The ones where you get, if I just move them out, where you get all of that on it. And I tend to pull some off at the bottom and use them as single picks, like I have on that one. It's just that it goes further, you know, and you, you've got plenty then to move around. But if you're doing something where it's big, you know, and you want the whole lot, like if you're doing a vase arrangement, then that that's perfect. So I've got three bands here. So let's, I like to use the single ones because again, they go further. Let's place one up there. And they do bend so you can give them a bit of movement to explain today to the beginners concerning I had a message that wondering what colours uh, would go right with each other and I replied if you get a colour chart um, this is a colour chart or colour wheel whichever you want to call it and um, it has like your primary colours your secondary colours um, your immediate colours which is your uh, I can't I can never pronounce it T tertiary or ter or something like that uh, your aggressive warm colors your receding cool colors things like that uh, and also it gives you an idea on your uh, tetrad your triad and your split complementary and also your complementary colors and it's got like your monochromatic uh, monochromatic your analogs achromatic colour and light, colour and distance, <clears throat> excuse me, complementary colours, split, split complementary, and again dyad, triad and tetrad. And basically what you do, there is a triangle in the centre, as you can see. Now if you wanted, it would turn, the wheel turns, so if you wanted purples, deep purples, uh, there then and you want to do a triad um, arrangement which is the out one it tells you there triad then you follow the tips of that triangle for the triad so what will go with the purples there's all the different shades of the purples and then it, it goes to the green so it gives you all the green that goes with it and on the other side it gives you 
the oranges and the browns that also go with the purples and that is how it shows you what shades go with whatever color you point that top part at so if you want reds uh, reds it gives you an illustration of your colors there in your red chart and then and you want to do the split complementary which is a smaller triangle in the center then follow that though that line and it tells you that those shades of green go really well with it and also the yellowy green there because they're the bluey green and they're what go lovely with that and that that gives you a, a helping hand and on the back it's a guide to mixing your colors so if you want to uh, add orange there where you're looking at the orange here by adding red tells you adding red you could add a yellow there's your yellow green uh, your purples and your greens and things like that it all tells you how to do it on the back as well so that is a very good chart they're very cheap but it is very good for helping you with colors to place together in uh, any arrangements that you do I've had this a, a long time, I had this, I mean, I had one when I was at university, but then I renewed it and got the more of an up-to-date one. A few years after I'd, you know, I was way past doing, you know, my course and that, and then I went and purchased another one. So, and this is it, and I've had this years now. So, I, you know, I suggest, you know, if you want a bit of help with that as well, uh, try and invest in one guys you know you can get them off ebay amazon anyway just put in a florist color wheel chart and they will pop up so they are wonderful things to help with your color coordination and what what would look nice with certain designs again like your complementary things like that at first I had it, I couldn't even understand it. I didn't I didn't get what it was trying to tell me. But I do, I do now, I get it. I guess I may have been a bit silly back then when I was younger, a bit naive and I thought, oh I'd, I know what to put with that. You know, when when you're young, you, well I did, thought I knew it all, you know. Whatever my mum said to me, I thought, oh she don't know what she's on about. Oh she did. <laughs> And it's the same in floristry, you know. I think I was a bit of a naughty girl when it come to uh, school, but then as I got older, I took it more serious. Uh, because my mum used to always say, you'll never get anywhere if you don't study or research. You know, if you want something, you've got to go for it and you've got to do the research and the studying. And she's right. You know, the first year I saw some of my friends uh, flourishing and they was going further than me. And I couldn't understand why. And it was because they was doing the research and, you know, things like that. That it did, that's, that's why there was one step ahead of me. And I, you know, I didn't do it as much. But then I realized quite quickly and then started doing it. So yeah, it really does help. Because it can be confusing and it can be quite overwhelming when you don't know, you know, what to place where or what colours to insert with what. And you, you can sit there and think, oh my gosh, what, what colour can I put with that? And it can be quite overwhelming. And then you start researching and thinking, well, somebody's done that colour. And you probably thought it wouldn't go together. So, I mean, I don't revert to the wheel anymore because, you know, I, I've learned. <laughs> but, you know, 
I do uh, sometimes, well, I say revert to it. On the odd occasion in the past, I have picked it back up if I'm just slightly unsure. Just to put, you know, make me realise where what I need. Because there's a lot of different ways out there. Because you will get some people telling you, oh no, that doesn't go, you shouldn't put that together. I was always told blue and green should never be seen. Oh, blue and green are fabulous. You do blue uh, arrangements, you have green foliage. <laughs> you know, things like that. And people used to say, no, no, you can't have that colour. But they go really well together. and I'll get another one. What I do, I'm doing, I'm just placing, you know, one more, just slightly more inwards. Like that. So I don't need no more of these as of yet. So we'll place the band back on these as well. Let's start on our conifer. I cut these off a fresh, couple of fresh shirts, bushy one. Yeah, I did it on three, in fact. I don't know why. I usually only grab two. There's five in each. Uh, bush so to speak I'm placing some of these also I may bring them around the back this time instead of the front I'll place these on the back as I call it the first layer because they are quite bushy I don't want them to I'll pop a few bit few of them through but I don't want them to take over Again, what I do on one side, then I go to the opposite side, and I do it on the opposite side. those in I didn't know whether I wanted to usually I start with my first layer but I didn't know whether I wanted the conifer or cypress leaves as, as some people call it at the front or at the back so now I know
just turn it around so I can see underneath. And I always say, don't ever forget underneath your bow. So that's just as important. I don't need no more of those. Let's get this smaller one. So I'll leave the filler foliage till maybe you know around the last, which is the muscus. <clears throat> so now we have our floral. I want to start with the wispy bits and place those on the outer side. I'm just considering about the those like that. Now I can't move, make my mind up yet is that if that's where I'd like them to be. Gosh I do leave this coffee till it goes really warm. And also with the hydrangea as well. Let's, I wanted to see about that. I'm just going to place it through. Let me just turn it around guys, so awkward. Maybe. Let me just, instead of just swapping and changing my mind, let me just get these. Lady Apple in. Oh. Before we go any further. Now I love these. I can't I had some a subscriber ask me where I got them from. And I cannot remember for oh, loving the money. I really can't. These are all I've got left. And I, re I researched and researched. I just couldn't find any. Not like these ones. These are oddments. And I could place those here. Don't they look pretty for the movement instead of the, perhaps instead of the colour lilies. And they are on paperback. These ornaments have been already done. I did do a few in before I started. Not many. 
think I'm going to do four. Maybe a, that one's right because it's brown paperback, so I'll get the brown tape. Oh, I saw somewhere you uh, concerning the tape where you could get all different colours pink, brown, yellow, purple, red. So, I don't know, I don't think I'm going to get any because the majority of the time I use brown, black, white or green. That's what I tend to use more than anything. I don't use, it's very rare you see something with a red stem. I may get red because there's an odd thing you may get a deep red stem. But I don't see things with pink stems. So... There's a bit of a movement. Right, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five there to start with. So, I'm coming on the inner side with these because I want these to be seen. I think I want one in the centre. That one's, that one's not sitting right, guys. In these positioning these where I say where the shoulder is oh that's only got one flower That's just on its own. I didn't see that. Right. Again, these are on paperback, and I always take this. As you can see, this horrible paper. It looks nice when it's all warm, but when you start stripping it down, it's horrible. So I always take it. To, you know, pull off what's all hanging off, and then get my tape and then go around with my tape to, so n no more starts to you know peel off So you can strip these really well. I'm 
again just with your tape just pull slightly to activate the stickiness of it that hasn't got any foliage with it Paper and plus I also pull the paper off because I don't I don't want to feel any as I say lumps underneath the tape where the paper's just hanging underneath you know loose I just need to see and place this one under the bottom. I need two more. One, two. Oh my goodness. I don't save those stems because the, the with them being paperback and they're no use for me. I just put a bit of this wispy leaf with it. those with a bit of tape to that stem so they don't come off. Oh my youngest son went to the dentist today. Oh not good news. Uh, the last time he went to the dentist, uh, he said to me something was just wasn't right. He didn't like the den dentist nurse that was doing his teeth. Well, he went for his appointment again today, and apparently the dentist that did his teeth, he had to have a filling, didn't do it properly. Um, she didn't fill the tooth properly, uh, she didn't do the job that she was required to do, I and mean, she no longer works there, um, so that he's got to have that tooth done again, but the dentist did say they won't charge him because of their mistake, or that lady's mistake, but he's got to have two of his wisdom teeth out as well. Um, they can take one of them out, but he's got to go to hospital and have the other one out because it's his tooth's growing, half of it went to one side and half is just straight so there's nothing that they can do so they don't want to make him end up with an infection or anything so he's got to go to the hospital and have that one done uh, so I may have to have a day off because I've got to take him because he can't drive so, what a disaster. So that's going to cost him quite a bit. All through the mistake of the last dental nurse. What a thing, eh? You, know, you, you tr put your trust in these dental nurses and apparently the one that 
did his teeth no longer work there? Because apparently they got a lot of complaints about her. Hmm, I can see why. Especially if she's made, you know, done that damage to my son. So yeah. He's not happy about it because he had a lot of work on his teeth. When he was younger, he had braces. You know, the ones that are like train tracks, we call them, uh, fixed into his teeth and screwed in. So he had them in for two years. So he's had a lot of work done to his teeth because he really did have crooked teeth. So he had to have them straightened. I don't know how me and his dad have got both straight teeth, so, but hey ho, everybody's different. Right, I'm going to be placing our little sunflowers in. Yeah, I've been dying to use these, if I'm being quite honest, because I, I think they're so cute. So I'm gonna go where the lady apple is. And these are push-ups. I'm just going to place one up there. I don't want it in the, too much in the way of the bunny rabbit's ears. So I just bring it down like that. And I'm just manipulating them as well. This is, it's not, I, I, I've been saying this is my awkward side. It's not that it's my awkward side. It's that I can't reach and I'm not left-hander. So when I do it that way, it just doesn't, you know, it doesn't feel right uh, when I go to that side. That's the reason I tend to just turn it towards me and use my right hand uh, because... It's just, it doesn't feel right, so to speak. But I just say it's all my awkward side. <laughs> So that's that. Doesn't it look pretty? Just yellow. Let me shift this lady up because it takes over a lot of my pocket. So, instead of the high granges, do I just do the sunflower instead? Yeah. I think the hard ranges are just a different yellow. So where's that band? Oh, 
I knew I had another one. Have the bigger one and then two of the medium. I think. Yeah. So one there, one there, one slightly round here at some place. I've gonna took those, place those. Oh my pity. Just touch them to here so they don't fall. Because I do want to add in carrots and also the orange ones as well so let's put the big sunflowers in You may not be able to see these as much. Just to add that little touch. I was looking at the carnations as well. Thought I went for the daffodils. Get in my carrots. And these are just randomly placed. They're not in any particular order. Like that. So they're in. I want to get in these, so I need picks on these, and because they've got a bit of twine around the top, all I do is put a bit of glue, uh, well place that, I should say, through the twine there, and then just bend that bit over, you bend that over, so it doesn't move and then put the glue on the bottom and then I've got a pick. That's all I do because if I ever wanted to take them off because, uh, you know, if I decided I might need one, 
Um, I don't know. But, you know, it can be a point where if I just wanted to take them off, really, nothing more. And add something else in replace of the carrot, then I haven't placed an all in it. Or damaged the material at all. Again, I'm just doing a U bend and I'm just getting my pl uh, pliers and just bending it really tight. So, I need to see where I'd like these to be. I think I want, I'd like a green one up there. Something like that. I wanted a green and a yellow one together, and I put this lemon one here so it doesn't, you know. <laughs> put it right in between could I guys really you know that would be really rude <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> I had to lean it to one side because <laughs> the bow is in the way and it, I tried it on the bow and it's just too long so it doesn't look right but if I put it down here you wouldn't see it so I wanted to lean it because I don't just want to I wanted it an odd number because I like to work in odd numbers so I'm going to place the green one in <laughs> at a slight angle So that's like that. <clears throat> so they're in. So let's go on to our daffodils. Now these are on rubber stem. Now these need to be fill, filling up around the centre. So let me just see. Again,
something like all oh, my cats here. I knew it wouldn't have been long. Yes. What can I help you with? Hmm? Yes, I know. You always name around soon, aren't you? I know it doesn't take long. What time are we on? Oh, it's getting to that time. So that's how I want the daffodils. Again, it's all yellow. I may I don't know whether to add in. Is it it? Let me stand aside and have a look, guys. That's actually okay. There's something that needs, I think, to be added into it. Now, do I please something white? Okay. I've got this many of these. I feel the whitey green. Let me just a bit spiky, a different texture. Yeah, I'm gonna place some of those in. I know I've got the, the blossoms, but they're more for the outer side. So let's get these in. So with these again, because the rubber, I tend to snip the rubber off, go around without snipping the wire inside, just go around and then pull. So then you've got the wire there because again, if you're new, new subscribers, this rubber will melt with your hot glue gun. If you're placing it in a wet in dried foam and you push it up then this rubber will push up to the top it won't always go in so then it looks messy so i i tend to trim it there um, to give me the wire that i require uh, to place in instead of making it look messy and unprofessional for whomever you may be making it for even if it's for yourself or for a customer or a family member you still don't want it to be showing you know it, making it look messy these are so realistic You know when uh, your daffodils uh, start to grow and they're in that thing before they pop out? Look, there it is. Before they pop out of that and then it's always left there at the top when your daffodils are flourishing. That's why they look so realistic. Every time you come in here, you just lick yourself to death. He doesn't do nothing else, he just licks, licks, licks. Everybody. It's 
Stop it. You've had all day to clean yourself. And scratch. Oh. My cat scratches ever such a lot and bites and bites. I flee him constantly. I've said this before on videos. But he goes for it like clappers. And I can never understand. I've spoke to the vet, took him to the vet. There's nothing wrong with him. He hasn't, he hasn't got fleas. He has the odd one, obviously, because he comes outside and then he bring, fleas are outside on, on the ground. And he may bring the odd one in on his skin. But not enough to bite away like he does. I think it's out of boredom. <laughs> but I don't like it. I really don't. It, it's horrid to sit and watch him chomping away at himself. This is only going to make yourself sore. Right, I'm putting these spiky bits in just for a little bit of different texture. With it being a bit greeny white. I forget what these are called. It's another one I'll have to check. And again, I'm just popping these around randomly. I've got that, I've got a wedding bouquet I've got to do. I may do that Saturday. I'm not at work Saturday, but I'll make time out to get that done. Or start doing it. Now I've got some of the flowers that I ordered. Oh, it was so hard to get burgundy anemones. I could get them in all of the colours, bright reds, yellows, pinks, uh, things like that. But when it come to the deep, deep burgundy, I couldn't get, but I've got them. I'll get one. Well, I've, I've pulled two out, but I finally, finally got it. And oh, when I ordered them, I thought, oh, it doesn't look burgundy. Again, in for a penny, in for a pound. Let's see when they arrive. And when they arrived and I opened the box, oh, hallelujah. Finally, so now I know where I got them from. I can start doing the wedding bouquet. That's all I've been waiting for. To try and find that. The anemones. I think I want one around here. Eating fish again. You always smell like fish. <laughs> I think that may be enough of those. I'm not going to place the colour lilies in. Um, I wanted to look at some of these. Oh, here we go. You think it's a toy? I 
I've cut some tiny ones just to add in. Just give it a bit of white. All in different lengths because I wanted it to be you know different, more natural like they're growing in different lengths we'll go Heat. Sorry guys, but oh it's constant. I thought he was ill with him keep scratching. I literally did. And the vet says there's nothing wrong. So what can you do? Two. I want to place one there and one there. And I'm doing these at different heights and I'm doing them around the back. Well, not different heights, different lengths, should I say. I don't want no more of those. Right, we've got our little bit of ruscus. I've cut little bits off to do a filler. I'm going to place those in, not many. And that. So I don't need really many. Oh my gosh. Again, I'm just now placing these randomly where I can see a gap. Again, for the filler. You smell fish, and I don't like fish. I can't eat it, it doesn't agree with my tummy. There. I'm 
that bit too. I think I need a little bit I want one flopping and then I want one straight. Right, let me just straighten up our bow. And there we have it guys, that is today's project of our bunny swag, I couldn't wait anymore for the ribbon, so I, ha I wanted to do the bunny with, so with sticking his bum out, his body out. So I could have wait. Um, it had to be done. Yeah. So I said to my husband, by you know, before that ribbon comes, it might <clears throat> Christmas might be uh, Easter may be over. <laughs> so I decided. just do it on a swag instead because I did want to do it on a great van wreath uh, with the, the bunny rabbit ribbon but I wanted to I wanted to do it I was e eager to get it you know to you do it so I will bring this up as a close-up for you as well let me just come and have a look. Oh, I found another piece. Let me put that in. While we're doing it, I found a piece on the floor. Blue string there. Sit that there. So I'm just going to come out and have a look. Just to see that it's okay. I need to just fill it with anything. Oh, now then I've spotted something. Just one area. I don't know if you can see yourselves, guys. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Gosh, I think my voice is going. That'll be a disaster. We can't have that. Right. Let me see. I'm just having a look through the bucket. What to place there? It may have to be a bit of this again. I'll show you where I've spotted it. a little bit of gap 
So I'm getting the Ruskus and I'm going to place the Ruskus there. Small little, little bits. Just cut off. I can't have that. Nothing there. Spread those flowers, incorporate it. So let me have another look. Oh, I don't know, it needs a bit of colour. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. Why didn't I think of that before? needed there now again I'm coming around for the third time yeah that's better much much better so let me move my bucket out of the way and I've noticed that that's I've squashed that. There's only this stripy one, there's only three loops in the, in the centre, N not four. So, guys, there's that one. Oh, he's got a thread on, a web on him. Uh, there's our little bunny. Oh, I love things like this. Uh, so there's our little bunny sticking his body out, out of the uh, the swag, with our little wild daisies, our carrots, our larger carrots, our lady apple, our miniature sunflowers, uh, our daffodils, our small daffodils, uh, our conifer, our fern, our eucalyptus, our ficus, these spidey things, oh, I'm going to have to look what they're called. Uh, the big sunflowers as well, uh, added in, uh, and the, you know, and the ribbon as well, which I've done in the loops at five inch, all of them. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I've looked at the clock. This hasn't, this hasn't taken me as long as yesterday. Um, I think it's because I was more prepared with everything. I knew what I was doing, um, and it was just gonna—I was just gonna go, you know. Well, I didn't even think I was gonna go for it. I just thought, right, let's get and do it. Um, so it's been about an hour and a half, uh, which is around, you know, what I like to do. You know, perhaps an hour doing the, an hour to an hour and ten minutes doing the actual arrangement, and the rest of it chatting. <laughs> Can't tell myself. Um, so again you could purchase these bunny rabbits and things or buy a kit you know just go on Google and put it in you know Easter rabbit kit for artificial wreath and things like this will pop up um, or if you've got a wholesaler they'll probably be doing them as well so uh, you can get them anyway any color as well uh, but I wanted to do it with these little black and white gingham paws and his black and white ears. So that's why I put a bit of black and white gingham ribbon in as well, just to, you know, match that. So again, I hope you enjoyed that. Give it a go, guys. Even if it's not in this colour, I just wanted to do a sunny yellow, you know, because we've had terrible weather here again. It's nothing's changing. Um, so I wanted just to lift the spirits and make you feel that spring is on its way and I always think that when you you know spring is on its way it makes you feel happy and it's like the temperature's going to warm up hopefully 
and uh, you could get back in your gardens and things like that and watch the new flowers in your garden if you you know or plant parts are starting to grow things like that go for nice walks you know and it's it's just that sort of thing and it sort of like brings a smile to my face so um, everybody seems to sort of like come out of hibernation when it's spring uh, I'm one of them as well I tend to hibernate in the winter uh, but again you could do it in different colors you could do it in oranges reds uh, blues greens um, anything really uh, I'm going to hopefully hopefully I've, uh, I'm going to do an Easter bonnet tomorrow um, I'd got a subscriber Ebony who's required or asked if I could do an Easter bonnet for a grandchild or an Easter basket so I am going to do a, like a little Easter bonnet so that won't be a big video but you know I like to fulfill my subscribers requirements and requests so uh, as much as I do my customers you know I just treat you all loyal to me just like I treat my customers they're loyal to me so I hope again I hope you enjoyed it so please subscribe guys and share again it does help um, it does help with the my analytics and things like that or that sort of thing with the technology side with YouTube and um, you know <clears throat> I don't know in what way it helps but it apparently it does I was you know when I've re read the uh, agreement and things so uh, that's in a bit of you know I don't understand how but you know it does and if that if it does it does so again please subscribe and share to your friends and family and um, give us a like as well because that also helps more than anything and give us a you know a little comment um, so um, and uh, if you again want to come and walk, join me tomorrow if I do the Easter bonnet come and join me guys and have a little look what we can uh, what we can create so all the best I've got the choir tonight half an hour and you'll have his tea uh, my cat so and I shall be out at, uh, till about half past nine tonight so uh, all the best guys have a wonderful evening take care of yourselves and i'll see you tomorrow bye bye oh again sorry guys i did say i was going to do a close-up so let me just do a close-up oh did you see how smooth that came off i've got i've managed to understand how to take it off with that going crazy <laughs> there's my bunny rabbit's ears again I did one where it's plopping over and one where it's stood up right there's my lady apple my little miniature sunflowers and those spiky things if you can if anybody knows what they are guys let me know my ficus what at the back with the fern and my bit of uh, ruscus and the little baby daffodils they're lovely and again the little daisies the wild daisies and the carrots <laughs> and my bunny rabbit look at his body <laughs> oh yeah, it looks like he's really squeezing himself in there <laughs> and the bow again where i've done the bow in the stripy one there's the one with the yellow where it's got like little daisies on or little cherry blossoms I'm not sure um, but that's that one and the nice lime green one as well there and then the orange uh, the yellow here the film strip where it's got orange on the back and that's silk that's beautiful so uh, oh and the eucalyptus you'll see there as well so again i hope you enjoyed that i'll just do a quick up oh i'm standing on the cable quick up and then back down for you to have a closer look i 
I'm calling my bunny rabbit. Have a guess, guys. Hopsy. That is Hopsy. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.